Are you struggling with the unsettling side effect of nausea while taking semaglutide? Are you curious about how long it lasts and effective ways to manage it? Keep listening to discover valuable insights and practical solutions. I'm Dr. Kane, the Dropweight MD. Let's dive into the most common side effect in the world of semaglutide, nausea. We'll shed light on the strategies you can employ to alleviate this discomfort, the benefits of taking semaglutide with food, and the potential relief that ginger can bring. We'll discuss the significance of hydration and rest in managing nausea, and how stress and fatigue can worsen those feelings. We'll wrap up by addressing the impact of other medications on nausea. If you're seeking answers on how to navigate and alleviate the nausea that sometimes comes with semaglutide, you're in the right place. Let's get started. So how long does nausea last with semaglutide? The obvious answer is always, it can vary widely among individuals. But the pattern for most people, hey, has Ozempic or semaglutide stopped working the way you want? Or are you ready to get started but want to ensure you are effective? I totally get that. I'm Dr. Kane Lai, and I've helped thousands of men and women lose weight in the last 13 years. My program, Drop Weight MD, is designed to help you effectively lose weight with semaglutide. I'd like to chat with you about it. To schedule a free consultation, click the link in the description or go to dropweightmd.com. Is that nausea is often most noticeable in the initial weeks of treatment and tends to diminish gradually as time goes on. Many people find nausea improves as the body adjusts to the medication, but can return if you push the dosage of some glutide higher and higher. That's why it's always a good idea to slowly increase the dosages across time with guidance from your healthcare professional instead of being super aggressive about the dosages. If you find nausea to be severe, persistent, or affecting the quality of your life, make sure to discuss this with your healthcare provider. So, how do you stop nausea from semaglutide? The first thing I think about is dosing. It's never a bad idea to start low and gradually increase it over a few weeks to help the body adjust more comfortably. The next thing is adjusting semaglutide alongside a meal or directly after eating to potentially decrease feelings of nausea. Using ginger, either as a tea or ginger candies, does alleviate nausea in some individuals. Making sure you have adequate water intake throughout the day can help alleviate nausea associated with semaglutide. Stress and fatigue can intensify or amplify feelings of nausea, so ensure that you prioritize rest. Make sure you actively seek relaxation techniques. Lastly, if you're taking other medications, consult your doctor about the best time to take them in relation to your semaglutide dose, as certain combinations of medications can worsen nausea. Empower yourself with these insights as you navigate your journey with semaglutide to pave the way for a smoother, more informed experience. And don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video that's sure to elevate and enlighten you on your weight loss journey with semaglutide.